Once upon a time, there was a young girl who was bullied by her stepfamily. An opportunity for her to escape the situation was the Prince's Ball. However, her stepfamily forbade her from going. With the help of a magical entity, she was able to attend the event. She enjoyed the night with the prince, but had to flee the ball afterwards. In her hurry, she accidentally leaves behind a shoe, which the prince later uses to find her. She and the prince got married and lived happily ever after. That, as you know, is the fairy tale of Cinderella. Hi, my name is Sharon. And you've probably heard of many fairy tales like that, from bedtime stories, TV shows, and picture books, etc. For me, there were stories my grandma told me while we waited for my mom to come home from a night shift. You might not notice it, but fairy tales have had an influence on us since our childhood. The cultures in embedded in fairy tales affect us deeply. As Arthur Frank, an emeritus professor in sociology, puts it, stories work on people. Fairy tales are powerful tools that are culturally significant as a linguistic means to convey social practices. A study from the Louisiana S State University showed that fairy tales reflect the expectations of a specific role within a culture. For example, male characters generally achieve their happily ever after with physical daring and ingenuity, like in Jack and the Beanstalk, whereas female characters are praised for their beauty and purity, like in Cinderella. These and other similar ideas contribute to stereotyping. An analysis done by Professor Mpasa from the University of Enda showed that through folklore, people gain cultural heritage, which to a greater extent determines how a person thinks and how they react to situations. Fairy tales can be used for both entertainment and for education. Professor Yinan Jin Seung from the Walter Sisulu University wrote that folk tales are often used as a vehicle for transmitting and preserving shared values. Fairy tales are used both intentionally and unintentionally to teach the next generation ideas and values. Elaine Austrey from SNY Plattsburgh wrote that fairy tales are an essential voice in the nation that carry with it cultural messages. These messages can vary from culture to culture but there are universal aspects to them as well. These lessons can include love, cruelty, courage, kindness, and other universal human feelings. We can see from the Japanese tale of the Tonkat Sparrow that it shares a similar moral to that of Cinderella, to be kind. These themes help us understand ourselves better and find things we have in common with the rest of society. This can also have a negative effect, however, as there are features in fairy tales that play a role in stereotyping. Things such as gender roles, racial discrimination, and other cliches, they appear in fairy tales. The exact origin of any specific fairy tale is unknown, but fairy tales most likely drew their material from the realities of society, and therefore they reflect people's values and worldview, wrote Professor Stone. And these can include superstitions and prejudices. However, that can be changed as fairy tales continue to evolve with every retelling. Some people say that fairy tales are just entertainment for kids and they don't really teach them any morals. I mean, scammers could have grown up listening to Pinocchio, right? The truth is, fairy tales are not the cure-all for all crimes, but they can build a moral standard for young children. A noted psychotherapist, Carl Jung, interprets fairy tales as a means for children to understand and deal with basic human conflicts, relationships, and desires. German historian Walter Burkert speaks of fairy tales as a primary way to speak about many cited problems. Fairy tales hold the ideas and values that have been passed down from generation to generation. They shape our morals, beliefs, and play a role in our cultures. As you leave this TED Talk today, think about the fairy tales that you've heard since you were little. What was the plot? What has the story taught you? How has the tale changed you? And most importantly, what story do you want to pass on? Thank you for your time.